these are the new in colors and for those who are new to Stampin' Up! and we have a, a few, a few of you, um, every two years, well every year they rotate, like these will be good for two years and in two years they'll get five more new colors and these will go away. Well the ones that came last year are still good but the ones that came two years ago they're going away. So the ones that were two years ago are going away and these are coming and they'll be here for two years. And so we've got two years to love these guys and give them all the love that we want. Um, let's see. Fresh, fresh Frieza, Frieza. <laughs> Let me get them down a little bit more in camera here. This is the the um, this is a open weave ribbon. I, I think it's going to be fun to work with. I think we're going to like that. Fresh Frieza, 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 like the flower Frieza. Uh, polished pink, which I think makes it looks like pink lipstick or pink pale pink pink nail polish. Um. Soft succulent, of course you know we love our succulents. Evergreen, evening evergreen is a really dark green. Uh, it's really pretty, but it's dark. And then we have pale papaya here on the end. Those are the new colors. They go live May 4th, not far from now. And you can order these and start playing with them. And we will be doing a class. We're going to do well suited. And then um, I think we'll do the strawberries, uh, sweet strawberry. And then we're going to do, I'll show you, the pansy patch. And these colors would be beautiful for this pansy patch. Uh, stamp set but before we get into that <laughs> and there there are um, colored jewels too that match these colors here let me show you the paper that goes with this pansy patch of course here's your card stock for these beautiful colors freesia soft succulent I'll have to learn these names polished pink and evergreen evening evergreen. I wanted to put those out there for you so you could see those next to the paper. And some of you may have um, um, some of you may have already gone online and looked at some of the unboxing videos uh, and that's fine. I've done it myself. <laughs> I didn't get a lot with the pre-order. Not. I don't think anybody got a lot with the pre-order because we were limited as to what we could order. Okay, so this is the first one. That's front and back. Isn't that gorgeous? I just, I just love, love, love that. Um, beautiful little pansies. Um, okay, and then the next one are leaves. And I really like that the front and back coordinate as well as they do. I love paper that coordinates like that. It's so easy to create with. Um, this has got that soft uh, succulent in it. And then there's this, even tinier. Uh, and then lots of gingham. I guess they figured out that we like gingham. <laughs> so uh, beautiful, so springy and bright. And you're supposed to be able to cut these out with the dies. Maybe the little ones too. I don't know. I haven't checked yet. We'll check when we look at the dies. Again, I don't know though. I would. I don't think I would want to use that side. I think I would want to use both sides of this myself. But it's it's there and it's it coordinates really well. And then there's this. I think that's pretty. Uh, really, really beautiful paper, guys. And I will be doing a paper share. I've had three of you say, 
yeah, you want to be in on the paper share. Now that's not a commitment, that's just a, like a tally for me to kind of figure out to make sure I have enough interest. So I have three people so far and that's what you would get is you get a six by six of each paper. Or if you want a six by 12, you could get that too. I give you the option. Some people like the six by 12 because you can get more out of it, less waste. Okay, and that's it, guys. But look at it up against all of that cardstock. It is gorgeous. We're going to have so much fun. <laughs> we are going to have so, so much fun. And it's bright and cheery. And I want to have you take a look at the dies. And then also, there's these little... that goes with the, that... The... Um, lady the they're not ladybugs <laughs> they're bees tiny little bees that go with the pansy patch uh paper isn't it cute that that would really make a card so we'll definitely have some of those in the kit when we do the class kit for that and so let me get this back in here um so here's the stamps. I'll open them up. Oh, look. They're photopolymer and there's two sets. So they are pretty true to the size on the, they're just a, a, a little tiny bit bigger than what's on the stamp set, on the front of the stamps. Um, gorgeous. I love the sayings. Any saying that has happy birthday and thank you, I think it's a good value because you can always use it. But you can switch out um, also. And look, this is something new they've started, okay? Um, I heard that they were going to do this, and, and so they have. This is so that um, rather than printing the um, image on the plastic, for you to make sure you have everything. They have printed the image on the plastic on the inside here. And I think the idea is, is that you can, rather than storing them here like this, and you know how sticky these guys are, they will stick to everything. You can stick them there on the inside of your case so that they're easy to get to. You don't have to fight with this, although I don't mind doing that. I liked having them nice and neat in there, but this is kind of new, so you can get all your stamps there. Easy to grab, easy to put back. Isn't that cool? That's new. This is something they started new, and they'll be doing this from now on. So I just thought I'd show you that. And let's look at the dies because the dies are always what sells me. <laughs> uh, you like that, Kay? I like that too. It is brilliant, Lynn. Uh, I don't know who thought of that, but it is cool. It's really cool making our life easier. Um, okay, let's look at the dies. Beautiful, beautiful dies. And my question was, I'm trying to get it. My question was, is there, we know there's a die for the bigger uh, pansy, but is there a die for the smaller pansy? So here's the pansies. And let me see. Mr. Die, where are you? It looks like, I think there is. Okay, there is a die for the little pansy and there is a die for the big pansy. So you could use all the pansies on both of these sheets. And I suggest even though you get the kit on May 4th, 
you're going to get the kit when you make that qualifying purchase. Uh, go ahead and get the paper. When you, I feel so bad that so many of you missed out on the butterfly bijou paper that goes with the butterflies. Uh, even though this isn't going away anytime soon, it's just good to have it in your stash. If you've got the stamp set, get get the paper. <laughs> you won't be sorry. Um, but this will be fun to play with. And we'll have this the first week of June, or first first half of June, this is gonna be our class. So you guys, we've got something to look forward to. Something, something lovely to look forward to. I know it's kind of hard to get excited about something you can't buy yet, but um, it's it's not, it's May 4th is just around the corner. <laughs> you, won't, you won't have to wait too long. The only other stamp set I got was Color and Contour. I think that's a nice little stamp set. Um, I like stamp sets where you have stamps that color the images. Like that colors that image, these color this image, this colors that image. The sayings are a little uh, not specific, but thank you, obviously. You're absolutely amazing. So those are all really good se um, sentiments. Again, it's got that insert where you can put all of your um, pay, your stamps together like that. And it looks like even if you wanted to leave these in the plastic like this, you can put it up against this. It'll tell you where it goes in the plastic and it also let you know if you're missing one. So you have, you have both options. If you like it like this, you can keep doing that. Or if you like it, this new system, you can do that too. What I really like about that more than just the images, and I, I wanna do a class on that. We'll see if I can fit it in. If I get enough interest, I will do um, two-step stamping. Uh, you know, uh, you know, Lynn, I don't know if that's two-step stamping. I, I should know that. I think it is. I think it is two-step stamping because generation stamping is where you stamp off and stamp on. So, yeah, that's probably two-step stamping. <laughs> I should know that, right? Um, this is why I love these dies. You have dies to cut out this flower and this flower. And then you have a little um, border, scalloped border with a bead around it, which is really pretty. But you get all of these frames, scalloped beaded frames for sentiments or for elements on your card. This outside one would pretty much take up the front of your card so you could use that as a background and then put something on the front. Lovely, lovely ideas I have for this. Uh, you'll be seeing some of these in your kits. I'll cut them for you. I'm not gonna insist that you get this, but I'm just saying you might wanna consider it. <laughs> Scalloped contour dies. This is also is available May 4th in the new catalog. And uh, most of you should be getting your new catalogs either today or tomorrow or the next day. And you can peruse them and get all excited like me. <laughs> but um, there's so much more in the catalog than what I'm showing you here. This is just a taste. This isn't, this isn't even really an appetizer. This is a teaser <laughs> of what all the goodies are in the catalog. So I will let you go. So thanks for joining me guys.